Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. So guys, I did a video yesterday talking about the story of a young Ghanaian lady and Instagram buddy that was identified as Sefina Damon. She was arrested for stabbing her boyfriend to death. Reports also say that, you know, she, she stabbed her boyfriend who just returned from Canada in the neck and stomach multiple times, um, leading to his death. Then more details actually came out that Safina claimed she stabbed the guy, that is the boyfriend, as what self-defense. New information now came again to say that the deceased, that means the boyfriend that she stabbed to death, was actually married with kids. He actually came to Ghana on vacation to see his wife and kids but then he now decided that okay he wants to go and visit safina his side chick the case is still being investigated sha and then more details will surely will surely be shared i will surely come here and share more details with you guys i said it in the last video that something was not right i was actually right about this i said it that there's no how like a woman just stab a guy just like that and it didn't make any sense that he was going to her right because if you say that oh this person is your um somebody that you are dating or something or somebody that you claim you don't like the fact that he knew your house he came to your house you opened the door for him you know if it's you are already like scared of this guy you're like ah oh, this guy is dangerous you even allow the guy in right you don't even allow the guy into your house but then he came to your house, you opened the door for him, and then you are saying he raped you. To me, I just feel like she was not happy with him. Maybe she has been the side chick for a very, very long time. And probably he has been giving her all this, oh, I'm going to leave my wife, I'm going to marry you, I'm going to leave my wife, and then I'll make you um, the new wife. And this time around, he came and she looked like, Kai, this man is not going to marry me. He's just there wasting my time. Probably, like, she just felt hot, right? And one thing led to another. It led to, like, a fight and everything. And, yeah. But she could actually be telling the truth. Because if it makes sense that, okay, maybe she has been with this guy for a very long time. And then she wants to leave him because he has his wife and kids he probably would say no you can't leave me right and he's trying to force his way on her especially like if she's the side chick and he has been the one taking care of her probably sending her money um taking care of all her bills and she decided that no i want to leave you he'll probably like no i own you i'm the one giving you money you know so it's possible that she's actually saying the truth that he was trying to rape her but at the same time men Man, this man, you have a wife and kids. And then you left your wife and kids to be chasing after another woman. I just feel like men should actually learn from this. Because why would you do this to yourself? This is a total shame for your family, for your wife. Just knowing that, oh, you died from going to see another woman. That's just somehow, even for, for the kids, to just feel like their father was killed by a side chick. That means you didn't even, like, you didn't feel like they need to be so faithful to your own wife and your own family. What are you looking for in another woman, please? I need to understand this. Please, men, help me answer, just help me answer this question because I would never understand. If you, oh God, God. Anyway, this guy is very hot and fine. So I wouldn't say I want to judge the man. But at the end of the day, this is a woman who you left in Ghana, who has been there for you. You did not even see all the girls back in Canada. No. You you have even cheated with someone back in Canada. So we'll be like, okay, yes, you are trying to like get someone to just satisfy your needs as a man. No, you left all the women in Canada and you came to get a side chick in Ghana <laughs> where your wife stays. Okay, the question is, what are you really looking for? That means 
see, see, see. If I'm really thinking about this, say eh, they should do their research. You will realize that he also has someone he was with back in Canada. Men, please learn your lesson, okay? Don't trust girls that you feel like oh this person is a side chick i just feel like you can never trust a woman or a girl who knows that you're married but she still wants to be in a relationship with you you should never feel like you can trust such kind of women they can do and undo they can do anything and this kind of women when you, when maybe now it's even possible that she was hoping that he will leave his wife and come for her and he's not planning to do that these kind of women, they are dangerous. They can't do anything. They can kill you. If they don't kill you, they will kill your wife. Or they can kill your kids. Just because they want to have their way. They don't. Women like this, they don't like to be treated anyhow. They don't want you to feel as if you want to use them. If it means that they will lie to the end. At the end of the day, if this woman is lying or she's saying the truth, no one knows because the man is dead. So no one can easily know the truth of what really happened. And then he's not be looking as if, no, oh, the man is not being faithful to his own family. He's the one going to chase after that woman. And maybe, yes, he was actually trying to rape her because he's the one going to her house, right? You are the one who went to her house. She did not come to your house. So, as mean she came to your house now, you say, oh, and she said, oh, she was raped. People will not easily believe her. But this one, you are the one who came to her house. Now, if she come and lie, safe, and say, oh, you were trying to rape her, who will believe, you know, for you to just be safe, why can't you? Why would you want to put your family in this kind of danger? Why? Like, I never would understand it. Why would you want to leave your family in this kind of danger? Forget the fact that if this woman could kill this guy, right? Stab him multiple times in the stomach and the neck. Imagine what she can do to the wife or to your kids. I don't even know how the wife or the kids would be feeling with this kind of information. It's going to be so hurtful to realize that someone that you are married to, someone that you are just there back home, you know, just taking care of his kids and hoping that, oh, one day you will go join him in Canada. And in your head, you're just like, this man has a side chick. And I'm a woman. No woman wants to that she's with you and then you have someone else outside. Like, I feel like no woman likes that. No woman... No woman wants that. She just wants to be the only one. So sometimes that kind of thing, that feeling like, feeling like, oh, I'm not the only one in your life can push a woman to do something that she doesn't even want to do. I'm feeling like that's what might have happened in this situation. Anyways, guys, that's just it for this video. Leave in the comment section what you think. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.